Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about Riemann sum tables. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, the integral from 0 to 14 of f of x dx, and we're given a table below. We need to find the right-hand Riemann sum to approximate the integral base of that table below. So, the first tells us the right-hand Riemann sum, you gotta keep that in mind. Right here, these x values will represent the base parts of each rectangle. And so I want to find the width of each rectangle, the distance between each x value. So the dis difference between 0 and 3 is a 3, and between 3 and 5 is a 2. Between 5 and 9 gives me the 4. And between 9 and 13 we have another 4 as well, and 13 to 14 we have 1. And these represent the widths that we'll be dealing with. Okay, now they tell us it's a right-hand Riemann sum, okay, right-hand. And so the area of each rectangle is its width times its height. So our first width of the rectangle we found to be 3. We need to multiply that by the height of that rectangle. And since it's a right Riemann sum, we use the y value or f of x value on the right side of that rectangle, and that y value be a negative 2. So negative 2 right here. Next one. We have a width of 2, multiply by the right part of the rectangle, height negative 1. Plus a width of 4 is next, times its height 0, right hand side. Plus width again of 4, times its height negative 1. Then plus, lastly, a width of 1, times its height is 0. Okay? All right. So now we just have to simplify this, okay? Well, 3 times a negative 2 is a negative 6, plus 2 times negative 1, a negative 2. 4 times 0, good old 0. 4 times negative 1, negative 4. And 1 times 0, 0. And this represents the area of each one of these rectangles for the right-hand Riemann sum. But we have to add them all up to get the total value. And when we add negative 6 plus negative 2 plus 0 plus negative 4 plus 0, we get a negative 12. And so using the right-hand Riemann sum to approximate this integral from 0 to 14 of f of x dx, we get a value of negative 12. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.